Just a quick reminder guys, these narrations are best enjoyed with headphones on. Anyway, Tails, I'll see you on Friday night for the 8-Bow Pool Night, okay, Tails? <gasps>
The very valid reason why movement and turning was on to one analog stick was because the N64 only had one stick. The C buttons were to strafe left and right and look up and down. This is the reason why using odd job in split screen multiplayer was seen as cheating and the killer of friendships in the 90s. The Xbox and the Nintendo Switch which has two analog sticks built into the controller or Joy-Cons for Nintendo Switch players. Additional control layouts was added to cater for people who prefer more dual stick controls, which is actually similar to most modern day shooters. However, the classic legacy stick layout you are most probably looking for will be Honey. So, this remaster strikes the perfect balance between accessibility and familiarity. Last but certainly by no means least, gameplay I give it 8. In short, Rare has done an excellent job preserving the asset, charm and appeal of the original games. With the levels, the textures and models are all here. Every last mission. So you can relive those days before DLC, battle passes, and randomized loot boxes. Back in those days, additional content had to be locked with skill, not money. Good times, guys. Good times. However, multiplayer is exclusive to the next Switch version. Nowadays, the majority of first person shooters has online play. Seriously, the Xbox port of Perfect Dark has Xbox Live multiplayer. Why not this game? However, the game's characteristic split screen mode is still there. So you can have up to four friends around your house with their controllers. So you can hook them up for one single Xbox for some split screen multiplayer mayhem. In summary, GoldenEye 007 Remaster is the perfect way to experience your childhood. As James said in his previous reviews on the original GoldenEye, before that game launch, there was a stereotype. FPS games was to be exclusively available on PC. The mouse and keyboard controls, in which a PC uses purpose-built for the genre, as it is easy to aim when using a mouse. The developers, however, took that stereotype, put it in a paper shredder, and shown the world otherwise. Seriously, if it wasn't for GoldenEye, genre-defining first-person shooters on console, for example Halo, Combat Evolved, and the Time Splitter series would never be a thing. But the lack of online multiplayer, the Xbox version, was a major missed opportunity. If you are a nostalgia junkie looking for a fix, this game is a part of the Rare Replay Collection on Xbox, which is a part of your Xbox Game Pass subscription. For Switch owners, this game is available as a part of your Nintendo Switch Online Expansion Pack subscription. Seriously, Toad and I cannot recommend this game enough to you. And the overall score is 91.25%. See you guys in the next review which is going to be and the latest entry of a very famous fighting game series. This is the total lucky Swift tail winning on the behalf of Spartan Commander 1990 out. Roll out Spartan Century.